you know, championship lifestyle, you know, really what that is, it's, it's about trying to be great at everything. Seven minutes, a hard fight. We're gonna hit one more time. But we got fights. Uh, fight on three. One, two, three, fight! You know, and, and championship lifestyle means, okay, if, you, if you're gonna go to class, then you go to class every day, you never miss. If you're gonna do school, then be great in school. You know, and if you're, you're okay with being average in one area, probably okay with being average in a lot of other areas too. Championship lifestyle, I mean, a good example of that, you know, we had 25 guys first semester that had a 3.0 or higher. Every one of our, our All-Americans had a 3.0 first semester. And, and that's, that, that's not a coincidence. And, and it's not just because those guys are the smartest guys on the team by any means. It, it's because those guys, they, they do everything the right way. Yeah, I remember coming here on my visit uh, senior year of high school and I remember sitting down with coach and he was telling me uh, we got the makings of a dynasty here we can win a national title and um, we can start a dynasty here at Grandview and I bought in I, I, I really I really believed believed in what he was selling me and yeah there wasn't much to see and there wasn't any wrestling facilities we didn't have a locker room no wrestling room you know, they're just finishing the weight room. And Mitchell is the only coach here on my visit. And he, I really liked him a lot and what he had to offer. And, you know, if you, if you're, you take care of school, you take care of your social life, you get those things in order, then it makes it easier to focus on wrestling. The room was getting built when we walked in, so that was pretty cool being able to see it coming, but not actually having it. And uh, for preseason, we had to work out at a high school, um, which was a little different, but, you know, I just went with the flow. It's really amazing to see, you know, our program the first year went from, I think we ended the year with 12 wrestlers, and, you know, this year we ended the year with, I don't know, 40, 45 wrestlers, and all those kids just want to be there and want to work hard, and it's a great environment to get better in because everybody's pushing, pushing themselves and pushing each other. And I mean, the things they do in the classroom are just as important to winning that title. And the things they do on the weekends and, and how they spend their time and the people they surround themselves with. And so it, it, takes, it takes everything. It takes every part of your, of your lifestyle to do that. I even feel like Grandview, they like, I, the first time I stepped into the room, I stepped into everything. When I came into the banquet and everything, it felt like we were like a family, and I wasn't even in there yet. So I just wanted to be a part of a team where it's just it's like a union instead of just a team. Like you're you're jogging like before practice, and he's you look over at him, he's talking to everybody. He always wants to know what's going on. He always wants to you know know how you're doing and how you're feeling and. And you know what you're thinking, and he and he wants to be a part of it. And I think that's that's really huge that he can be a part of everyone on the team, and also motivate everybody for that one goal, and that's to be a national champion. I wanted to be back in the atmosphere, back you know winning, obviously, uh, being at the top. And I could tell just talking to Mitchell that that's where he was going and where he wanted to be. I mean, it wasn't anything less than that. Just never satisfied, like never satisfied with. Even if we like won a tournament, I mean, like we won the regionals by, by a ton, probably won it by like 50 points, I think, and he still wasn't satisfied. I mean, he's like, we didn't have enough champs, we didn't have this, we didn't have that, just named off like like five to 10 different things. I mean, he was obviously still happy we won. It was like, it was like taking this win, I mean, it's a good job, but there's still like so much he just like criticized. He's just never, never happy, I mean, which is good. I mean, he has so much to keep critiquing and just always wanting to, to do better than we even did before, so. He's really good coach. Like, I never seen Mitchell. Like, he's always, he always has energy, um, always ready to go. If you want to wrestle him in the mornings, if you want to do anything, he's always there, ready to go. And he's just the type of guy that just fills you up with energy. Like, if you don't want to do something, I coach, I don't feel like doing this. It'll be like, yeah, you could do it. Everyone's sore right now. Everyone's banged up a little bit, but it's how you can deal with that. After three days, it's freaking just bad ones, okay? So, two last chances here, one last chance for you to go out and out fight somebody. Let's just put an exclamation point on this tournament right now.
I, I think one thing that's real important is, and this is important for younger guys on the team to really pay attention to, but anyone who's, who's going to come wrestle for us, if you listen to the guys talk that have had a lot of success here, whether they're graduating or they're still on the team, you know, if they're doing things the right way, you, you hear a common theme with a lot of them. A lot of them will talk about living the championship lifestyle. Because I, I've got a lot of good coaches around me, those guys help me put together a system. Buying into a championship program, it, it, it takes a lot of work, but, it, but you notice that the guys who've had success here constantly say that. Just, just buy into what the coaches are telling you. Just, just believe in the system. I saw how important it was for him, and um, it made me believe, uh, believe how important it was, and then other guys see it, and, and that's, that was his vision from the start, and we were just the guys that put our foot on the line and went after it for him. He said he was going to come here and win a national title, and in the fourth year of the program, we won a national title. I mean, that sums it up right there. Like, he said he was going to do it, and he did it. I'm, I'm glad that I had this experience, not only for wrestling, but you know, it, it changed my life. Mitchell and the rest of the coaches in this program really did change my life, and it changed the way I look at things. Actually, I was thinking about that in class, uh, taking notes, and I didn't really want to take notes, and I just thought, you know, that automatically, it's in, I think it's ingrained in my head now, popped in, you, you know, I gotta dominate this note taking, so. I gotta do the best I can. I, it really is true. I, I apply that to every aspect of my life. I always said my back was not in the greatest shape and he gave me that chance to fulfill my dreams, to get my college degree, to get my college wrestling, and to help me as a person in general. It is, uh, he's a great man. Good job, man. There you go, great wrestling. Go fight out there, buddy. Good, good stuff. Yeah, I remember um, the first time I didn't make weight. I didn't make weight two or three times, but the first time was horrible. I didn't make weight for, for national duels. Um, I overdid it. I ate too much. He talked to me. I just saw his face and his eyes. I, I was like, I never wanted to see that face again. He scared me so much that I went. I was hiding in the stands for the whole wrestling tournament. I didn't come down. Yeah, he called me and was like, Omi, where you at? I was like, uh... I want you to know how appreciative I am of everything you've done for me. Uh, you've ultimately changed my life. And I believe that 100%. The way I go about everything in my life, and I I'm truly appreciative of that, and I love you for that. You really pushed me to get back into the flow of things, not only to get my life back together, to really go after getting my degree, I mean, getting my schooling done, not only be a national champ or be the best I could on the mat, but the best I could in every aspect of my life. And uh, I think that says a lot about you as a person, and I really appreciate that. I just want to thank you so much, Mitchell, for helping me out in wrestling and, and getting me to where I am right now. But mostly, I want to thank you just for helping me uh, grow as like a person, going from from me skipping classes and you coming to our house and me hiding, not wanting to see you. And like, I know. Like I've been a good wrestler and stuff, but just now growing all around person and like having all my priorities and straight and everything like that, I, I owe a big, big thing to you. Well, I just want to thank you for helping me um, get to where I am right now, and uh, hopefully I can make you proud in the future like I hope I did during uh, the last four years that we had together. And uh, I just want to say I love you, and um, hopefully we get uh, many more memories uh, to spend together in the years to come. And every time, every time I'm in a position where I feel like I'm doing the, making a bad decision, I just think about you like you're right here on my right shoulder telling me, oh me, don't make bad decisions. You know what I mean? So I'm glad for that. And I'm really glad you brought me over here. And I listened to everything you said. And I love you, Mitchell. You're the man. Yeah, I got one uh, from our freshman, or from my freshman year. It was uh, on the way to the Briarcliff tournament. I got a Twix bar and I ate it, which, I mean, it doesn't weigh that much, but still it's like something to make you have to work out. And I was telling Hauser and Oler it, and I was like, thank God Coach didn't uh, see me with the Twix bar. And uh, come to find out he was right behind the door 
So he heard everything I was saying and said, what, Evans? And uh, there's something about me and Coach where I can't lie to him. So I was like, yeah, I got a Twix bar. And he ended up yelling at me. And I ended up winning tournament next day. So must have done something. But you know what I mean? <laughs>